What's going on everybody? How are we doing today? I hope everyone is doing well. I hope you're doing amazing things and I hope you're doing some amazing soul searching because that is key. I did some soul searching today. I've been thinking about the concept of working within a system. You know, sometimes we listen to things and we think, yeah, we have to break up the system and we have to, you know, burst this thing open and we have to trample this thing down because the system is broken and, and you know, why would we want to work within this system because it doesn't work. And I've said before that it's very nuanced for people to decide whether or not they're going to work within a system or work or create a new system or go outside of a system and I'm not I'm not always sure what the answer is but I have a good example of people who work within a system so the Native American people of the United States the indigenous people of the United States do you know that these people after everything that they've been through and how they've been betrayed and treaties were not upheld, that there are many Native American uh, nations, and they are nations, they are sovereign nations, that still have treaties with the United States of America. I think there are maybe like 500 groups or something like that. More than that, what's interesting is that many Native American people serve in the United States military forces. The very government and the very military that subjugated these people and forced them off of the land that they had, they now work and serve within the very military that oppressed them and oppressed their parents and grandparents and great-grandparents and basically tried to destroy their culture and their history. And it's an amazing thing if you think about it. I mean, who would do that? Of course, the reason is that these people are warriors and they believe in loyalty and warrior service. And they will serve this nation being the United States because ultimately they still see this place belonging to them, but not in a bad way, not in a rebellious way. But, you know, if their tribe gets relocated to another place, it's still within the United States and they're still going to fight for that land. They're still going to fight for those people. They're going to serve those people. And it's an amazing thing to think about. I mean, again, you know, this this nation, this United States of America, oppressed these people, tried to destroy them. They couldn't practice their religion. They couldn't speak their language. It's amazing. And yet these people serve, and they serve with distinction. And I was very moved by that today. I watched some videos of uh, veterans, Native American veterans, um, coming home and of course when they come home they'll have a big dance for these people and and the veterans are dancing their native dances in their military uniforms unbelievable sight I was moved to tears I think there are some other reasons why I was moved so strongly but I know that to think that these people can serve inside a system that wanted to destroy them and maybe still wants to destroy them. I'm not here to say one way or the other, but uh, it's not easy for a lot of Native people still today. And I think the lesson for us is that we need to find ways to work within the system. Instead of saying, oh, this system doesn't work, or this thing is only so many years old, or whatever, and Surely these people didn't know what they were doing. 
and we need to revamp. I don't know, you know, guys, maybe we need to examine, maybe we need to pray some more and find out what we need to do. And, and I think I think that our teachers are good examples of that. I think Drawer is a good example of that. If you look, it's uh, very much a traditional view. And it's an example of how we can still take a traditional view and work within the system and yet still be who we are. Still being honest with ourselves, being who we are, exploring who we are, asking Hashem who we really are, and then going from there. And I think it's a beautiful thing. So let's see what we can do, guys. Let's ask Hashem every day how we can work within a system. And let's ask Him every day what the nuances are of working within a system or outside of a system or creating a new system. Very important, guys. It's not always the best thing just to jump to certain forms of rebellion. Uh, we need to be very careful. Sometimes Hashem has us within a system so that we can help other people in that system. So that's what I have for you today. I hope it's helpful. I hope everybody is well blessed and full of happiness and joy and love and light and you should